Hello everyone, and welcome to another Fallout 76 weekly weapon guide. This week's weapon is Kingfisher, a harpoon gun designed for hunting aquatic creatures. In order to get this weapon, you'll need to load into survival mode and complete the weekly challenge, Go on a Fishing Expedition. This challenge consists of four parts. Claim lakeside cabins, kill an aquatic or semi-aquatic creature, cook a meal from an aquatic creature, and complete a quest or event in the Granbury Bog. Completing a quest or event in the Granbury Bog isn't really one I can give too much guidance with. Best bet is to just look on the map for an event symbol and travel over to it. For me, there was a robot horde event going on, I travelled over, and somebody else killed the horde leader, completing the event for me without really having to do anything substantial. If you do have technical data, then turning that in should also complete this challenge. As for claiming the workshop at Lakeside Cabins, that's also pretty self-explanatory. Head to the location, kill the enemies, and claim the workshop. As it is survival mode, make sure you're keeping an eye out for other players, also wanting to claim a workshop, as they might decide to get you out of the way before you have a chance of taking it. Once you've done that, you can head just a short ways northeast from the cabins and you'll find a group of low-level Mirelurks. Kill these Gribblies and you'll all have got another challenge ticked off. And for the final part, all you need to do is cook the meat you got off said Mirelurks, all this done and out of the way and the Kingfisher is added to your inventory. Now that I've told you how to obtain the weapon, we head on to the review session, and once again I sadly cannot recommend this weapon. The effects grant bonus damage to Mirelurks and Bugs, and also make it ideal for criticals, which made me think that maybe it would be a viable weapon against Mirelurk Queens, but the problem is that Harpoon guns fire so slowly that they need to be doing staggering amounts of damage per shot, which the weapon just doesn't quite manage. It's decent enough facing against individual Mirelurks or Bugs, as it can one-shot most of the smaller critters you come across without worry, but if you're fighting a group, then you'll find yourself getting swarmed whilst reloading. All in all, the weapon just isn't worth using on a day-to-day -day basis. If you want to roleplay as a post-apocalyptic fisherman, then maybe go and get this weapon, but for the average player, it's just going to be script or sold. And that's it for another episode of Fallout 76 Weekly Weapons. Sadly, the last couple of weeks' weapons have been fairly worthless, but next week we've got a real powerhouse to look forward to, so make sure you're subscribed so you can see how to obtain that one. As always, thanks for watching. Sarge out.